Good afternoon, Redeemer family, and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our afternoon devotion for today is based on our epistle reading for this week. Our epistle reading for this week is 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 29 to 31. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 29 to 31. This is what I mean, brothers. The appointed time has grown very short. From now on, let those who have wives live as though they had none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, and those who rejoice as though they were not rejoicing, and those who buy as though they had no goods, and those who deal with the world as though they had no dealings with it. For the present form of this world is passing away. <clears throat> Recently at home, I had a problem with my computer there. Uh, it wasn't updating the way it was supposed to, and you know, seemingly every other day or every day, it needed to update, and it wasn't uh, accomplishing anything. And so um, I ended up uh, chatting with support, and uh, they ended up reinstalling uh, Windows 10, which wiped out my printer software, and my printer no longer was usable. That's an old printer, um, and there were no software updates or anything available for it. And so a printer that I was uh, appreciated, I really liked using it, it was easy to use and uh, cheap to operate, now no longer works, which means I gotta go buy another printer. Um, it's one of those examples of uh, we get used to something, we like it, and we don't want to change from it, and so we become a little bit overly attached to it. And, and that's really what Paul is saying here, that we shouldn't be overly attached to anything in this world because this world is passing away. We are looking forward to a better world. We are looking forward to eternity with Christ. We are looking forward to being in God's presence, you know, filled with the joy of paradise forevermore. And so the things of this world that Paul describes as passing away are indeed just that. Nothing lasts in this world. You know, we look at furniture, we look at appliances, we even look at our homes, and in one way or another, we have to, you know, constantly upkeep them because they are constantly uh, falling apart. And we just, just get to use to one thing, and suddenly we have to change it to something else. Paul is reminding us that everything in this world changes, even us. You know, we grow older, and things don't work as well as they used to work, and eventually... Um, People that we loved and enjoyed their presence in this world are gone. But for us as believers, they're not gone. They're in heaven with Christ. They're enjoying the world that will never pass away, including the presence of God who will never pass away. And so our attachment needs, first and foremost, to be on our Savior Jesus Christ. He delivered us from sin, he delivered us from death, and he gave us the gift of eternal life by his resurrection. And that's the life that we want to be attached to. Not the things of this world that grow old, fall apart, and eventually have to be uh, replaced, but we grow attached to what our Savior has that lasts eternally that never grows old and never falls apart and never needs to be replaced. So that's what we attach ourselves to. As we live in this world, you know, we enjoy lots of things that God has given us, but nothing should become an idol. Nothing should be something that we're overly attached to and can't live without. Everything in this world is something that eventually we will live without. But the people in this world, our loved ones, those who believe in Jesus Christ with us, they will share with us the joys that our Lord has prepared for us. 
the joys of being in his presence forevermore, the joys of not ever feeling the effects of sin or the consequences of sin ever again, for being in his presence means experiencing his glory in the glory of life everlasting. Let us attach ourselves to that hope, that assurance, that peace, not this world, but the things of the world to come because of our Savior's death and resurrection. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Father in heaven, it's easy to get attached to things in this world. It's easy to get attached to things that uh, eventually fall apart and grow old and are no longer useful. Help us to not become attached, overly attached, to things in this world which is passing away. But help us to become completely attached to you by faith, completely attached to your promises, completely attached to what is going to come in eternity. Bless us with that assurance and help us to attach by faith all that you have prepared for us and that's waiting for us in everlasting life with you. Strengthen our faith that we would rely on that over and above anything in this world. In your name, amen. Have a blessed Wednesday all, and we will see you tomorrow for our last devotion for this week on Thursday. Have a blessed Wednesday.